Hello guys, today we're opening up Structure Deck Zombie Horde. So on the back it says, stock up on food and block all the entrances. The Zombie Horde is coming. Structure Deck Zombie Horde builds upon all the encompassing power of Zombie World Field Spell to create duels where zombies reign supreme. The scariest thing about a Zombie Horde is that its sole purpose is to make you join it. Interesting. The structure deck includes 37 commons, 3 supers, 2 ultras, 1 beginner's guide and a double-sided deluxe game mat. And here are all the cards. Unleash the zombie world. Okay, let's unleash it. There we go. Here is our starter guide. Oh, actually, shows some new cards here. Cool. Then we get the deluxe mat, showing off the boss monsters for this deck. One of them is the new Red Ice Synchro Monster. Pretty cool. Oops, yeah. Looks nice. And then on the back, it's just a strategy guide. And here's the deck. Ooh. Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. Pretty cool. So it requires one tuner and one non-tuner monster, one or more non-tuner monsters, and gains 100 attack and defense for each zombie monster on the field and in the graveyards, which is pretty easy to do with zombie world on the field, so he can boost up his attack really high. When another zombie monster is destroyed by battle, you can special summon one zombie monster from either graveyard to your field. Only once per turn though. Pretty nice effect though. Because with Zombie World on the field, all monsters are zombies, so you can destroy your opponent's monsters and special summon them to your field. Cool. Then we have Tatsu Necro. If this normal summon set monster would be used as a synchro material, one monster in your hand can be used as one other material. So he makes it easier to synchro summon, especially if you want to summon this level 7 guy, so you just use the level 4 guy in your hand and you're good to go. If you do this, all monsters for that summon are banished, instead of being sent to the graveyard. You can't special summon monsters except zombie monsters. Pretty cool. Makes it easier to summon, to synchro summon, but it banishes your monsters. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, nice. Here's the big boss monster. This guy looks epic. Doom King Baller Drock. He's a baller. Yeah. Really awesome. And he has awesome effects too. So during the standby phase, if a face-up card is in a field zone and this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card in defense position. You can only use this effect once per turn. And then once per chain, when a zombie monster except this guy activates its effect, except during the damage step, quick effect, 
you can apply one of these effects, but you can apply the same effect again this turn. So you can either negate that effect or banish one monster from the field or graveyard. And the banish effect does not target, which is really awesome. Really great effects. So when the zombie world is on the field, all monsters are zombies. So you can negate your opponent's effects or banish your opponent's monsters. Amazing. Then we have Necroworld Banshee, which is like a terraforming for zombies. So, zombie world in the field zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, neither player can target it with card effects. Quick effect. You can banish this card from your field or graveyard. Activate one zombie world directly from your hand or deck. You can only use this effect once per turn. She lets you activate zombie world right from your deck. Awesome. Doesn't even add it to your hand, so you cannot be she cannot be ashed. Nice. And then we've got a new version of Glow Up Bulb. Now this one is Glow Up Bloom. I really like the artwork here. You can see a bunch of skulls in the background. Very cool. Very creepy. So it's a level one tuner. And if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from the graveyard to add one level five or higher zombie monster from your deck to your hand. Or if zombie world is in a field zone, you can special summon it from your deck instead. Also, in either case, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of this turn except zombie monsters. And you can only use this effect once per turn. Great effect, really cool. Okay, and then we have the reprints. So first we have Kasha. The original Red Eyes Zombie Dragon from the last zombie deck, structure deck we had. Malevolent Mac Goku N. Cool. Endless Decay. Paladin of the Cursed Dragon. Immortal Ruler. Zombie Master, pretty good reprint. Tristan, Knight of the Underworld. Mizuki, great card. Gozuki, also pretty good. Shooten Doji, nice. Pyramid Turtle. Goblin Zombie. A sold Bell of the Underworld. Shiranui Solitaire, very good reprint. Uni Zombie, classic. Marionette Might, pretty old school card. <laughs> very creepy though. Beast of the Pharaoh. Escape Ghosts. And then we have Zombie Necronize, the new version of Change of Heart for Zombies. So if a level 5 or higher zombie monster is on the field, target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it until the end phase. And just remember that when you have Zombie World on the field and your opponent has a level 5 or higher monster, it becomes a zombie so you can activate this card and steal their monster. Pretty awesome. Also, during your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle one of your banished zombie monsters into your deck. And if you do, set this card but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use one effect per turn. Pretty cool. So it recycles your banished monsters and it steals your opponent's monsters. Really nice. And also it doesn't target, so you just, it's a bonus. Okay, then we have Zombie Power Struggle. I think this is also a new card. Featuring the baller dude. <laughs> Target one zombie monster on the field. Until the end of this turn, it gains 1000 attack or loses 1000 attack. 
during your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle one of your banished dumpy monsters into your deck. And if you do, set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Again, once per turn. Good utility card, so you can, you can use it against your opponent if you have zombie world, or just for your own zombies. Very nice. And we have the classic zombie world. Awesome. Still strong. Then overpowering eyes. Or just one eye actually, even though there are two eyes in the art. But okay. Book of Life. Pretty much monster reborn for zombies. Call of the Mummy. Mm -hmm, nice. Foolish Burial. Monster Gate. Drag down into the grave. Burial from a different dimension. Shared Ride. Return of the Zombies. I believe this is a new card for this deck. So banish one zombie monster on the field, then special summon one zombie monster from the graveyard of the player who controlled it to the field in defense position. If this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle one of your banished zombie monsters into the deck. And if you do, set this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this each effect once per turn. So similar to the other spell cards, it's once per turn, it recycles your banished zombies. And once again, you can banish your opponent's monsters if you have Zombie World on the field. So pretty cool. Haunted Shrine. Trap of the Imperial Tomb. Needlebug Nest, very good. Metaverse. Anti-Spell Fragrance and Mask of Restrict, which is an interesting choice for this deck, but okay. So that's it. As always guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to see more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings.